Hey guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks here. Yeah, I'm about to unbox a new device, and I'm a huge fan of a Chinese manufacturer called Xiaomi. This is actually a device that's almost two years old. This is the Xiaomi Mi 4, or this one here, the Xiaomi Mi Note. Actually, I just figured out that they're all white. But now I got the latest one, uh, which just got launched in February, not only in China, but for the very first time during the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, and that's the Xiaomi Mi 5, and we're about to take a look at it right now. So obviously, a shitload of phones here on my table, but that's the important fella over here. And I just want to make sure that I can also compare it to some other devices. So I've lined up a bunch of the previous generation of the flagship device from all the different OEMs out there, plus um, the other Xiaomi phones that I still have. So you can definitely see what Xiaomi did to the Xiaomi Mi 5. But you know what, let's just immediately dive in here and let me zoom in a little bit and so we can unbox this little device. By the way, I got it from Trading Shenzhen, which is um, a distributor uh, that is based in Shenzhen. It's actually run by a German guy. And so we're in contact with buddies on Facebook and these guys really helped me out with a lot of shiny smartphones in the past. So if you're really looking for a reliable source straight out of Shenzhen, straight out of southern China, um, you just stick with the German guys. So those fellas will definitely take care of you. TradingShenzhen.com or TradingShenzhen.de. So they got me the Xiaomi 64 gigabyte version. The Xiaomi Mi 5 Pro isn't available so far. So um, of course I just jumped into it and took the 64 gigabyte version. That also means this one has three gigabytes of RAM. But you know what, let's just forget all of this and Unbox it. You know, it's a kind of different box to the device that I had from Xiaomi before, which came a little bit like, um, had like a like a little wooden case, gray case box, gray, brownish. I don't know. Oh, by the way, give me a thumbs up for this one, because uh, I still have my RFID chip in there. So that's the Xiaomi Mi Five. Let's just place it over here and let's see what kind of other accessories we're getting. Um, kind of weird, right? I'm not sure if this is a pre-production model or whatever, um, but to get a white device and then have a black PSU and um, black USB 2. Exactly. USB Type-C and no, no, no. Yeah, exactly. No headphones whatsoever. So, here it is. Let's take a quick look around the device itself, even though that I already did a hands-on during the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. So what you see is a 5.15 inch display um, with a resolution of 1080p means 1080 by 1920, right? It's all vertical. Um, so this gives you a PPI of 428. It's not top notch, but to be honest, I, I don't give a shit about all these 2K displays. And maybe you can also leave me a comment down below how you like those 2K displays. In my opinion, it just makes no sense whatsoever because you have to move 70% more pixel compared to a 1080p display from A to B, and which definitely has an impact on the battery life. So um, the first thing that you immediately realize with the Mi 5 is, oh my goodness, it's got them light because um, it weighs only 129 grams, 7.3 millimeters. And when we take a look around the device, you can see over here, this is the slot for your SIM card. And then we have stereo speakers on the bottom and the USB type C connector. And this is a power button and the rocker for your volume. And while we have here on the back, this is a 16 megapixel sensor with an f2.0 aperture lens. And on the front, we have a 4 megapixel sensor, hopefully wide angle. I was kind of expecting a little bit more from Xiaomi because selfie phones are so popular in China. I already told you that I got the 64 gigabyte version still based on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 820. Um, that means you're getting the dual core 1.8 gigahertz, Creo core and the dual core 1.6 gigahertz a Creo Core. This is the standard edition. With the Pro edition, you would get the 2.1 gigahertz 
uh, in combination with the 1.6 gigahertz. So it definitely has a little bit more performance. Both of them, of course, sporting the Adreno 530 GPU. Uh, GPU, yeah, that was very German. The GPU, of course. Um, the other difference compared to the Pro Edition is that this one only sports 3 GB of RAM compared to 4 GB of RAM on the Pro Edition. So, um, you know what, let's just get rid of this here on the back and this one here on the front. How can I do this? Gosh, I hate all this paper stuff. And let's switch it on. Um, I have to admit something. I actually switched it on already on before because I wanted to make sure that I'm downloading all the updates before I'm doing my first hands-on with it. So um, let's just immediately boot it up and let's see what it can do. And you know, especially how um, the MIUI looks like. Just takes a little bit and so you're also getting a little bit of an idea how fast this device is booting up. Um, First thing that you notice is, especially when I, open, when I open up an app, let me just open up this app here, so you can see that the bezels are like super thin. The display is absolutely gorgeous, even though that this is no AMOLED, no super AMOLED display, but this is an IPS LCD display, um, which is, by the way, also the device itself is getting a lot of notification right now. Um, anyway, so um, I guess you are quite familiar with the MIUI. So let's just check out the versions. Now look at this. This is running on Android Marshmallow 6.0 and it's sporting the MIUI 7.2.7.0. Jesus, that's the version number. But what's really interesting here, look, it just says that the quad core is running at a maximum clock speed of 2.15 gigahertz. So compared to what Xiaomi originally said that the non-pro versions will only have a clock speed of 1.8 gigahertz max. Um, that's quite interesting. This is something that I was expecting from the pro versions, but obviously this is also running on the 64 gigabyte version. Can't confirm this right now for the 32 gigabyte version, but it's definitely um, a nice to have. Um, what you can also immediately see that the MIUI, for those guys that are familiar with it, is uh, coming without an app drawer, or app drawer whatsoever. Plus those guys in a trading Shenzhen already pre-installed a Google Play Store, which makes it of course easier for us to download all our favorite apps. And for those guys that are getting it from another shop somewhere from China, there is always a chance to sideload all the Google apps. Um, I kind of like the clean interface of the MIUI. Plus, I'm pretty sure those guys were one of the first ones to introduce this kind of flat design uh, for Android devices. Uh, in general, the first experience with these phones is just... Um, well, I have to admit that I'm not a 5-inch category phone user. I'm more into phablets. But, I mean, this is absolutely beautiful. It is just so light, even though that I would put it maybe into a wallet case. But I guess it's, you know, it is an amazing phone. You know what, let's just try out the camera app. I have some, I have a bunch of little Android figures here switched on the HDR. There we go. That, to be honest, looked quite slowish to me. Um, let's just zoom in on these apples. That's pretty good, huh? That looks great. Well, it looks great on the display, and as you can tell, you know, I focus on the apples and um, not on whatever we have on our shelf there. On here, the Android figures. That is pretty good, seriously. So, um, of course, I have to bring the sensor to a wheel test and I have to figure out um, how fast this device is, how good the battery life is, how I'm getting used to all of this uh, kind of MIUI environment because uh, usually I need an app drawer plus how can I get used to uh, a device that is quite small and just to show you how small it is um, why are we running an Antutu benchmark? How about that? We're gonna compare this to... Oh no, I don't care. 
Here we go. Let's just test this again and place it down here. And I'm going to compare this specially to the Xiaomi Mi 4. Now take a look at this. The Xiaomi Mi 4 is almost two years old now. Um, this one was sporting the Qualcomm Snapdragon 801. Yes, which is, holy shit, that one is four generations old. So, but you can still get, oh, sure, I think I've updated it just recently. Um, you can still uh, get it's Android Marshmallow for this one. So, that was a Snapdragon 801. I also have the Xiaomi Note here. This is not the Note Pro, which also means that this is also sporting um, the Snapdragon 801. Um, the Pro came with the 810, as far as I know. And what I also have here is an LG G4. Oops. Here we go. Now look at this. And I have an iPhone 6 Plus. So you're getting a little bit of an idea of how compact this new Xiaomi Mi 5 is. Especially when we're going to compare this to one of the coolest phones from last year. This was the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. Now let's take a look at this. See that? That's quite interesting. Now look at the screen sizes. Right, we have, I think the S6 Edge, that was a 5-inch one, right? Just correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, right? But in general, you can tell that the screen looks slightly bigger on the Mi 5, um, but still the overall device is only slightly bigger than the very, very compact S6 Edge. Um, yeah, first impression of this device, while I finally fired up here, um, the Mi, oh, here we go the Mi 4, just to double check the latest release on this. Look at this, so this one is sporting uh, Android 6.0.1 and it's running on the MIUI 7.6.3.24 beta. Jesus, those version numbers on, on, on MIUI, that's absolutely amazing. Um, but it just gives you also an idea of uh, how supportive Xiaomi is when it comes to the latest Android and to have a device that is almost two years old and is still getting the latest launcher updates um, and based on the latest score of uh, Android, which should be 6.0.1 as far as I know. Yes, of course you can get Android N, right? Uh, this is just telling you that Xiaomi is a company that's really taking care of its customers. Um, talking about the pricing of um, the Xiaomi Mi 5, uh, I think this starts at roughly around 300 US dollars. So uh, for the 32 gigabyte version, by the way, you might gonna add taxes to it. Um, the pro version goes up to, I think around 400 US dollars. So for that, you are getting, remember the time where um, OnePlus called the OnePlus One a flagship killer? For this money, you're getting the wheel deal. This is the wheel flagship killer, in my opinion. You're getting one of the fastest CPUs or SOCs that is out there. Um, you're getting an absolutely beautiful device that is sporting some of the latest technologies you can imagine. Uh, a very, very light device, super compact with a beautiful display and also with a great battery because this one sports a 300 milliampere hour battery. And in a device, that is only 7.3 millimeters thick and only weighs 129 grams. This, in my opinion, is absolutely stunning and tells you a little bit about you know, the engineering that Xiaomi puts into these devices. So um, if you're on the market for a device in the three to $400 range, if you can deal with a phone that comes from China and that has no local distribution whatsoever. Um, if you're okay with site loading maybe the Google Apps and all of this, you're getting an absolutely gorgeous handset. You're getting a device that has no competitor when you compare the specs of it to the pricing. And um, to be honest, look at this, look at the design of it, right? So this is something 
Remember that the Galaxy Note 5 was one of the first ones to kind of um, sport this curve back? Well, Xiaomi was already using this. I think it's already here on the Note. Yeah, there we go. Just to make sure, because a couple of people were calling me out saying, oh, Xiaomi did this first. They actually did. And they actually got copied by Samsung. And now look at the score. So a total score of 133,000. This is one of the fastest smartphones that is out there. If you have any questions, of course, this is just a quick and dirty hands-on, even though that it got a little bit longer than usual because um, I'm just running through all these devices and I want to make sure that this is going to be a one-take video. If you have any questions, just leave it down below and um, I'm going to make sure to answer them or to even consider them doing our review of this device. And um, if you like these uh, kind of one taker videos and with not so many edits in there so that you're really getting an idea of how I'm handling these devices just please give me a thumbs up or maybe subscribe to our channel. So this is the first look at the Xiaomi Mi 5. I'm Sasha from Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching. What?